Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be sharing with you the new kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing at Studio Calico. Today is December 1st, 2022. There's a lot to share as always, so we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with the add-on stamp sets and then we can jump into the kits. So for this month's add-on stamp sets, this first one is all about being cozy and staying at home. Love that large cozy stamp. Can see myself using that as a title on one of my spreads. I love the little journaling spots and the circles and obviously they're buildable. Really excited for that one. Now these next two are a favorite. Uh, you, I love the small words, the days of the week, the months, love that. The tiny, tiny numbers and these boxes that you can add in the days, the months, all of that good stuff. And they work together really, really well. I haven't been able to play with this yet, but I can see myself using a lot of this in my daily journal. I love that you can use the boxes together, probably stamp them in between each other, if that makes sense, and kind of build the date and year. I just think these are going to be so much fun to play with. Again, love the tiny words. That's a favorite. We do have a reading stamp, which is always a favorite of mine. I like the I'd rather be reading, treat yourself, your shelf. That one's a lot of fun. You can create a little rainbow in all kinds of different formats of books. And last but not least, another favorite. This was designed by Gerilyn from In a Creative Bubble. Love the winter stamp. She just always nails it with her designs. So excited for this one. Love that little, I'm going to think, I'm going to say it's hot chocolate, but I just love the cup with the coffee or the hot chocolate. So, so pretty. So those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's take a look at our kits. This month stamp subscription is so adorable. Again, designed by In a Creative Bubble, which is a favorite. Love all the fonts. Love the icons and that box. I would totally add a photo and probably stamp one of the icons to kind of represent the photo and the activity. So, so cute. And check out that bear. He is adorable. I can't wait to use this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll use this today in my process video. We shall see. But I'm so excited for the stamp set and I can't wait to use it. As always, we have the documenter kit. I'm gonna pull everything out of its packaging and we're gonna take a look at the documenter kit. Okay, so let's take a look at our documenter kit. So you get some green labels in different shades of green, really cute. Some green alphas, it's kind of like a pine green. You get some chipboard hearts and arrows in different colors the December wood veneer, always fun. Get the little stamp set, the three by four, and you can add the little icons in the circles and squares, little words like that. A simple one, the chipboard sheet, which is always my favorite. And you also get some die cuts which again are really adorable. They match the stamp set. It's all about winter, oops, snow, some squares and circles, really cute and fun to add as layers for your photos and your pockets. Let's take a look at the cards.
Okay, so I have some favorites. This is a favorite. Love this one. Really cute. Just says, we just fit. I have slippers that look exactly like these. So I think this pattern is in the Traveler's Notebook. So I definitely will be documenting my slippers. That's for sure. This is another favorite. It's just so pretty. And I love this one. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to lie. This isn't my favorite uh, kit because it's so heavily like December-ish. I'm not a big fan of kind of documenting winter hev heavily just because we don't have, you know, crazy snowy winters or anything like that. But again, I always say this, think outside the box. I can still use this even if it's not a snow day. I prefer to use it on a snow day, but because we don't have those much here in Georgia. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use some of these cards. But you know me, I will try to figure out a way. But they are cute. Um, not my favorite. But I do love uh, the colors in this kit for sure. Anyways, that is the documenter kit. Let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so we have a few repeats in the Traveler's Notebook. We do get those green labels again. So you have two sheets of those. We do get some puffy stickers and these are really, really cute. So you get two sheets. Love the Christmas trees and the pine trees. Those are just so pretty. And then you get alphas in red. Again, one sheet. The die cuts, just like the documenter kit. This beautiful washi. I'm excited for this. I love that blush pink. Really, really pretty. Really pretty washi. Love that. And the 3 by 4 stamp set. Another basic one where you can kind of fill out the little boxes, add the icons, maybe use it for journaling. A cute little 3 by 4 stamp set. So let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook which is always my favorite part. It's a very um, simple TN this month. Not a lot of patterns. I do like that one. It matches the washi. Um, and I do like the slippers, totally using that. But there wasn't anything that stood out this month to me. I do like this. This is pretty cool looking. I like that a lot. Just like a word puzzle. But yeah, this one's even pretty too. But. Um, nothing that stands out this month. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's um, heavily Christmas themed, I'm guessing, or very wintry. I don't know what it is, but that is the Traveler's Notebook Kit. It's a good one. Um, I know even sometimes, I always say this, even if I don't think this is the cutest kit ever or the best patterns ever, it doesn't mean that's the case for everybody else. So anyways, uh, as always, I will share all my unboxings with you and I will create, um, I think I'm going to create my traveler's notebook today. Let's see. But if you want to see my process video, just keep watching. And as always, I will be linking everything I shared and used down in the description box for you. So let's get to it. Okay, you guys. So I decided to document my slippers and choose that pattern with the slippers in my traveler's notebook. I'm going to trim around my slippers and just keep that silhouette. And that way I have more space to journal and add some embellishments. This layout is going to come together really quickly and you're going to see how fast and easy it is to put a spread together. So I really want to use the alphas from the kit to add a title to my spread. And I was kind of thinking of adding the title going around my slippers, but I don't like the red alphas. They don't match. Um, I'm not a big fan of red. 
So I decide to grab my large black Sharpie and just color in the alphas that I need for my title and make them black. So that way it fits in well and it's not like too bold. The bread is just too bold for me. I thought black worked well and it will go really well with the puffy stickers. So I just colored in stay in and I'm going to use the alphas to add my title around my slippers. Really like how it looks. That's what I was looking for. I didn't want anything too bold just because I knew I was going to be using those puffy stickers and they're very bright and colorful. So I didn't want my title to take away from my puffy stickers. Now that I have my title done, I'm going to use these puffy stickers just to add a little something to my journaling. Now my journaling isn't anything deep or anything like that. It's just kind of talking about uh, winter and how I'm trying to stay cozy and read books and binge watch my favorite shows. So I decided to add a puffy sticker for each little journaling spot. And that way it adds a little color to my journaling. And I get to use those beautiful puffy stickers. I end up using like the little dog with the scarf. He's so cute and some trees. I didn't stick down my journaling yet because I knew I wanted to use the stamp set as well. So you're going to see me actually add a little heart in between my slippers, but I do decide against it and remove that later. Just stamp there. But for now, I'm using the stamp to add a little something around my slippers. I just curve it a little bit so it can go around the slippers. Then I'm going to use the pattern stamp to add a little pattern behind my journaling. I did print my journaling on transparency paper so you'll be able to see the pattern I end up stamping. And I did stamp it with some really light gray ink so it doesn't take away from my journaling. Now that I'm done stamping, I can stick down my journaling. I'm just removing the backing and sticking it down. And then I'm going to add a little bit more around my puffy stickers. There is some mini hearts and stars, and I thought there was a lot of space around my puffy stickers, so I could add those and fill out that space. I will remove the heart puffy sticker that I added in between my slippers. And instead of that tiny, tiny heart that you can barely see, I decided to stamp the heart from the stamp set in black. It filled out that space really well. But anyways, you guys, as always, I will be linking everything I used and shared down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.